need a very sharp knife. I like to use these razor knives. In alcohol, vodka is good, 80 to 100 proof. Put the green husk inside. It will take it a week to 10 days before it starts to wear off. Out here today, collecting some black walnuts. Black walnuts are something that you can use to make a tincture. And that tincture has a lot of uses. I'm not gonna mention why you would make it, but that is generally something you would want to have on your homesteads. Now what I'm doing, I'm actually looking at these ones that have already fallen and seeing if they have any worm or bug damage and if they don't, like this one has bug damage, you can see it there, it's black, it's also got holes in it. You wouldn't want to collect that. You want to make sure they don't have any bug or worm damage or holes in the green husk part of it. Now this one is also fallen, so you see it's got worm hole in it. The ones that are on the ground, you can collect. At this time of year, you can also collect the ones that are hanging on the trees that don't have any damage because you're not actually using the nut. You're using the husk, the green part. So they don't have to be fully ripe for that part. The nuts, if you were collecting the nuts, you would want them to be fully ripe. So I collect about enough to fit in like a quart mason jar. Sometimes I'll do a half gallon, but a quart is an awful lot of tincture. <laughs> Again, you want to just look at them, make sure they don't have any bug damage on them. Now, I also will come back out when these start falling on their own to collect them for the nuts. But right now, I just need enough to fill up a quart jar, and that's about what we got. So we'll go inside, and I'll show you the next step. For this next step, you're going to need a very sharp knife. I like to use these razor knives. They get the job done. You're going to need a cutting board. You're going to need some gloves. You're going to need a mason jar. You're going to need your black walnuts. You're going to need some kind of drinking alcohol. Vodka is good, 80 to 100 proof. You want to fill your mason jar partially full of alcohol. You're going to cut the husk off of the nut. Put the green husk inside the jar. That's the next step. Make sure you're wearing gloves because your hands will get stained brown if you do not. Black walnuts make a really good dye also and you'll find out if you don't wear gloves how hard that dye is to get out of your skin. It will take it a week to 10 days before it starts to wear off. So make sure you wear gloves. There are all kinds of uses for this tincture. I'm not going to mention them so that I don't get demonetized. You can Google it yourself or however you want to look it up. If you've got any type of herbal remedy books, they probably discuss them in there also. This is a something that's been done for hundreds of years. So you're going to take your knife, you're going to cut your husk off. If you're using a razor knife, you need to be extremely careful because you don't want to cut any fingers off. I usually just start by going around it in half. Then I go back around it again to cut it into quarters and then it generally just peels off to some degree. So you're basically quartering the husk off of the nut.
This isn't very hard to do. It is somewhat time consuming. And you can see the staining that is happening on my gloves. If it wasn't for these gloves, my hands would be yellow, slowly turning to brown. You can kind of see now how I nearly knew exactly how much alcohol to have in the jar. That just comes from experience. I usually start somewhere between half and three quarters full. And let me get some lemon juice now and olive oil. Make sure when you pull your gloves off, you pull them so that they go inside out. Did you see that? So that way you don't get your hands stained. I'm going to leave these gloves out because I'm actually going to use them to pick the nuts up. Normally I would use fresh lemons, but my lemons are not ripe yet. So you want about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Then you want just enough olive oil to create a skin on top of the alcohol. Extra virgin olive oil. You want it to be just enough to cover the top. If I tilt this, you'll see that the oil, well, actually you're not going to be able to see it, but basically you pour it in there till the oil goes all the way out to the side so that there's no alcohol on one side and oil. The oil is evenly coated across the top of it. Next thing you do, you put the lid on. You give this a shake. You cover this with a paper towel or with a towel and then you shake this or just twist it like this every day for anywhere from six to eight weeks. Thought I'd go ahead and mention this. If you've got one of these corner cabinets, this is where you want to keep your black walnut tincture while it's aging. You have to let it age for about four to six weeks and every day or two or three, you want to take the jar out and shake it up. Here's where I've got mine at. You actually don't need the towel. I put that towel there mostly to remind me that if you don't have one of those corner cabinets, you can just cover it with a dark colored towel and leave it on like a countertop or somewhere. But cool and dark is what you want. So covering the jar with the towel also works. Okay, so when it's time to go ahead and after your four to six weeks or maybe up to eight weeks that you've let this ferment, now it's time to get the solid separated from the liquid. And the easiest way to do that is with the kitchen strainer. I've already actually done one of these and I literally forgot to record it, but I actually made two anyways. So all you got to do is get you a bowl and a kitchen strainer and dump the liquid into the strainer all the solids will stay in the top like so or in the jar and then you're going to take the liquid that's in there and put in a different jar let me grab that jar all right so for bulk storage i keep them in mason jars with a lid on it and then the actual tincture I keep in like tincture jars that have a stopper. And the way that you use this is you take, as an adult, you take eight ounces of water or orange juice or something like that. You put 20 drops of tincture. which is about one dropper full. Then you just simply drink it three times a day. Cool. 
Now, in water or orange juice, it don't have any taste. If you were to use that straight up, it's going to taste nasty. So, trust me. An adult is 15 to 20 drops in 8 ounces of A liquid up to 3 times a day. A teenager is 7 drops in 8 ounces of liquid up to 3 times a day. And anything below a teenager, you should probably consult with a doctor before even thinking about using this. Also, if you're pregnant, you obviously should not use this. And um, generally, you ingest it for like stomach bugs or parasites, um, gastrointestinal problems. Um, if you have like moles or warts or skin issues, you can take a Q-tip, dip it in the tincture, actually apply it straight to the problem area. If you have athlete's foot, you can put a full dropper into like a foot bath of hot water for 10 minutes a day up to two weeks. The other thing I want to say is this is not something you take every single day all the time. This is something you would do if you are initially starting out, probably what I would recommend that you do if you've never done this before is one, do research on what it's used for. The other thing is to, you don't want to start off with three doses a day. Start out with one dose a day. Maybe only do a half of one dose. So 10 drops if you're an adult, three drops if you're a teenager. Do it once. Then the next day, maybe do you know, a half a dosage twice a day. Then the next day, maybe do a half a dosage three times a day. Build up to the full three full doses. Then I would cut it off after about two weeks. So whatever dosage you're doing after two weeks, stop. Stop for at least two weeks, preferably a month. Um, if you have recurring problems and this doesn't correct it, you probably need to see a doctor. Because this isn't taking care of the problem. But this does work. It's been used for thousands of years. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.